Hey everybody, it's your guest reviewer JB once again here for Cat Synth TV. Today we're going to be talking about the Codex Seraphineanus by Luigi Serafini. But before we get started, I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel for more cultural content coming out regularly. And please consider underwriting the efforts here. There are links to Patreon and Ko-Fi in the information below. Okay, Codex Seraphineanus. Luigi Serafini is the author and illustrator of this. A fascinating book. I think I got turned on to this book in the early 1990s. I saw in addition of this, a friend and collaborator at the time, Matthew Waldron, was a huge fan of this book. Uh, I remember he was searching for it for quite some time. He, he finally found an edition at a used bookstore and it cost him like $100, $200 or something for one of the volumes. It was in two volumes at one point. I knew nothing of it. He showed me a little bit of it and mind blown, I'm telling you. First of all, a little bit of background on this. Uh, this is a... I don't even know what you would call it, a sort of speculative, surrealistic type work. It's a huge volume, an illustrated volume. It's written in some sort of asemic language, some sort of cipherish looking thing. You know, Serafini himself has said that the, the writing in there actually has no meaning in itself. Doing a little bit more research though, it seems like the numbering system is somehow based on base 21. That's a little bit of trivia for you. In any case, it's just a fascinating, enormous tome. It's kind of compiled together in the sort of the same way that you might see uh, a Renaissance book uh, in the sense that it's drawn from a lot, bunch of different sort of disparate elements and it's all thrown together and bound as one volume. But the thing that kind of ties all of this together is the incredible illustrations in here. Serafini is just an incredible draftsman. Looking at some of these pages here, we can see that it goes from sort of this strange biology to some sort of satire or satirical kind of comic elements. It draws, if we look at this page here, we see some sort of gesture towards scientific illustration, but done with this sort of absurdity. This is the thing about it, you know, looking through this, it's an overwhelming experience at times. You start at this book and I can only go a few pages at a time because not only there was so much detail in these illustrations, but you know, you spend a lot of time what exactly is he trying to say here? And, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of these things where you don't have clear answers, but you can see that there's a certain joy coming through the illustrations. There's a certain uh, enjoyment of creation. There's a certain uh, love of presenting the paradox to get the reader or the viewer maybe because you're not actually reading anything in this case, engaged in the drawing. What does this mean? Oh my goodness, look at this. You, I didn't see this detail. It's amazing stuff. Anyone who's familiar with some of the other great unsolved books out there, the Voynich manuscript, for example, this is kind of something in that direction. It's like a bizarre little peek into another world that's organized in a way similar to our world maybe, but it's done with just a sort of alien sensibility. The other thing it reminds me of is some of the illustrations have the same sense of Fantastic Planet, if you're familiar with that film. That same sort of really, it, okay, it's familiar enough, but it's also very bizarre at the same time. And we have a very European sensibility for the illustration. Uh, I gotta say, you know, anyone who's a fan of French or uh, Italian illustration and the clarity of the line work will just, this is something else. The particular volume that we have here, it's both volumes of the original book are bound together in one uh, tome here. This is an edition put out by Rizzoli Press a few years ago. It's printed on the highest quality paper. If you look close here, you can see uh, we have some textured paper and it's 
very nice. The printing itself is just impeccable. I mean, as someone, again, who works in the printing business, I gotta say, this is a top quality product. You got some amazing, amazing work put into this, some care put into this. And, you know, this particular volume, it's a little bit on the expensive side. Well, actually, it's, it's, it's fairly expensive, but it's definitely worth it. You know, this is something that you can just pour yourself into and it bears repeated readings and repeated studyings. And if you're an illustrator yourself, it's endlessly inspiring. So once again, we've been talking about the Codex Serafinianus by Luigi Serafini in an edition put out by Rizzoli Press. To find out more about the Codex Serafinianus, please visit this website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. I want to say thank you all very much. The guest reviewer JB here for CatSynth TV. Who's a fan of French or...